Hello, welcome to class this month. Let's twist again. Let's twist again. <laughs> um, I won't I won't sing it, but um, it's a very old song. It's not a 90s song. Uh, anyways, we are going to work on our twists. Um, there's a lot of twists on the mat and reformer um, that just require a lot of strength and connection. And what I found in filming this month's um, workouts is, especially the Cadillac, it just teaches us so much strength and connection that we need. The reformer is a great place to test that. The one in a chair is a great place to challenge that. And then the mat is where it's at. Like that's where we're doing all this for. So don't skip the mat class this month. Um, but uh, when in doubt, leave it out, obviously. And let's get started. So what we're going to do is start on top of the chair. If that scares you, you can be on the floor, of course. Um, easier is being on the long side of the chair. Harder is being on the short side of the chair. I'm going to give anyone permission to do this version this month and do it myself. Otherwise, please feel free to do it. <laughs> on the ground. Ready? Pump your arms for your hundred. And you're just doing these big vigorous pumps and you're just breathing through, getting your mind present to what you chose to do today. You chose to at least do some of, maybe all of, this one at your workout. One more cycle of breathing. Exhale it all out. And sit all the way up. Easier is going to be to keep your feet down on the ground. Harder is going to have your legs into a half teaser. I just want us to practice something that we're going to need in our um, actual teasers. Even though it's not the theme, it's not the twist. It's just a nice way to warm up and let your body know what's going on with your pelvis today. So find yourself at the edge. And then you're gonna roll your waist back and then round back up. And my pelvis wants to pop forward, so I gotta roll my waist back, keep it there, and then roll up. Woo! <laughs> and roll back and roll up. Now, you can actually keep your legs where they are, roll back, twist, come to center, roll up roll back twist roll up one more time each side roll back twist roll up roll back twist roll up Woo! <laughs> okay ab series on top or on the floor that's next easier long way harder short way when we get to our crisscross it's not a, do not shorten your twist. I want you to go big or go home on this one. I know I hate that saying too, but I had to use it. <laughs> one, two. I want you to juice it out. I'd rather do one good twist each side than no twists at all. And so maybe that's not going big, but go go for it. <laughs> at least on one rep. And reach those arms and legs away. And up. And reach. And up. One leg in your hands, one leg away. Pull, pull, switch. I'd rather you always just do the smallest version than nothing at all, right? Even if you only show up for five minutes of class, hands can be on the corners or behind your head. Lower the legs and lift three times. I'm going to give you a moment before the crisscross. One more. All right. Come all the way up. So we're, if you only do one crisscross each side, that's fine. But we're not crossing that elbow in front of the face. I want your armpit hit your knee and I do not want your knee twisting that way that's not the right kind of twist it's gonna be in the waist ready three times each side or one good one on each side head into your hands get that armpit to the knee up and over to the other side up and over to the other side oh my goodness not easy Ugh. armpit 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 one more Ugh. yeah <sighs> okay time for a moment Let's put some springs on. One middle spring. Stand at the back of your chair, heels together, toes apart, arms up and round forward. Reach the pedal away and then pull it back up. Let's just stretch out that spine, stand in those feet and lift. We're not sticking the booty out or lifting our head up. We're just going from a round back 
to a really long spine and then around back again. Now this is what I want you to focus on. When you close the spring on this next one, you're going to lift your center up. Both hands should come off at the same time. If one came off with, then without the other one, then there's a little twist happening. Not the twist we're going for in today's class. Let's give that one more try. Lift up, round forward, reach the pedal away from your back, and then pull it back up. Reach and pull. Reach and pull both hands up at the same time. Ha. Oh, sometimes I just need to focus on it, yeah? Okay, so we're gonna go on top of the chair. I know, a little scary, but you're warmed up for it. So um, if you wanna do what we just did instead, you can. If you have someone you wanna have push on your shins, that's fine. If you wanna load up on the springs and do two bottoms instead, that's also an option. So arms up, round, get your hands on that pedal, hips over your knees, reach those arms into the spring and then pick it back up and stretch reach and pull it up and stretch reach and stretch reach and round one more reach lift lift both arms up at the same time <laughs> so good Okay, so you can repeat that again if you want to. We're gonna come all the way down and we're actually gonna go into a twist. So, heels together, toes apart. Uh, the edge of the chair is lined up. This exercise can be done with a twist or without a twist. We're gonna do the twist today. Arms up, round, reach one hand up and one hand into the pedal. Twist your ribs into the pedal. So I'm not pushing my arm to twist me. I'm pulling my ribs around and my arms are following reach. So I'm not leaning into one foot and then the other. We are just reaching our ribs into the spring and lifting it back up and reaching and lifting. One more time. Reach. Come all the way up. Lift. So good. <laughs> I'm going to turn my chair around. You can just flip around and we will do the other side. So this is a, this is an intentional twist right that we're trying to have here and again your arm could just do it from your pec but i want you to pull your waist around got it round forward lift and reach your eyes can follow your shoulder right i'm not like twisting my neck more than it needs to i'm actually just letting it follow the spine two more oh should feel so nice last one yeah and then lift. Woo! That was a nice way to wring everything out. Okay, stay on one middle spring. And let's come onto our stomach for a swan. So getting rid of the twists for just a moment to focus on the length and strength we need. Yeah, so spin those inner thighs up. Push that pubic bone down. Bend your elbows and reach. Bend, reach. Without letting your ribs fall, hold. Let the heart come forward. Lift with straight arms and then come. So something that I learned is I like, I'm like gripping this pedal for dear life. So if you're like me, it's okay. I have a little cue for you on this next one. Bend your elbows three times. And then uh, instead of pull, like pulling with your hands, push down from your back. Ooh, it's so much easier. And again, so you're actually reaching into the pedal, which is something I say, but it wasn't something I was doing. So just in case you're like me and you're hearing it, you're hearing it, and you're like, oh wait, am I doing that? <laughs> okay, this next exercise is um, we're gonna take the arm off and there's gonna be twists that happen in your body. That's not what we want. That's not a twist we're looking for. So I want you to pay attention to it. Take one arm out and as you pump, Notice what happens without having both arms on the pedal. See if you can go from the center outwards, reaching through all of your limbs to mitigate the twist. Three pumps, one lift, reaching into the, hands, the pedal instead of pushing down. Reach, 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 Woo! and then switch. So that side is pretty good. It's my other side that likes to really get twisty shifty <laughs> and pulse and lift and pulse and up. Whoo. Okay. 
<laughs> come all the way down.